What is going on everybody? It's me, Ollie, aka TNS Attitude. I'm back again here on YouTube.com for all things professional wrestling. I'm out here in the garden. I thought, you know, it's a hot day. And we're going to do a little bit of a video following on from yesterday's ticket video, which of course was really cool. And of course, with all of the news going around that obviously tickets are now on, the, on Ticketmaster, you know, WrestleMania 39 coming up next year, next spring. And, you know, I wanted to make a video with an early... Almost a bit of a fantasy book prediction of what the card could look like for 39 from Sophie Stadium. Now, of course, for me, I would go with, of course, you know, the main choice that everybody is discussing, of course, is that The Rock will be re making a return next year for his last match with Roman Reigns. And I would definitely call this as definitely something that they will probably go with. But I don't believe this match will be for any championships. I do think this is going to be just like a marquee match for bragging rights and just something that will be on the show as a uh, headline match. But it doesn't need any kind of championship, any titles involved. You know, I think that all in all, if this Triple H reshuffle is going to happen with him taking over the creative side of the product, I would expect those, those you know, both of those belts to, uh, to go elsewhere and I mean when I say that I would expect them to take the belts off Roman and give them to uh, you know to other people because at the moment having a guy there with the belts and not defending them and not being on TV a lot it does definitely it's not the way it should be you know uh, networks want a champion they they want a you know somebody who can defend the belts so in all fairness because the car you know because it's a two night show if they've got the champ, if they've got both belts and they take them off Roman, then you know that's two champions, that's two extra matches, and that's definitely an opportunity for a you know potentially some good matches down the line. I think all in all, I think we're looking on the lines of obviously if you've got Roman and The Rock without any titles on the line, that's definitely a match or one main event you can have on the show. I also think that, you know, who well, what would the matches be? And I think that, well, the WWE and the Universal, I think you're looking at, like, I think one of the matches definitely has to involve Seth. I think Seth will win. I think it would be good if Seth gets one of the titles, perhaps, you know, maybe he is the Universal Champion going into Mania will be Seth. And, you know, because Seth's had a bit of a, you know, they've booked him to have a lot of a losing streak recently and, you know, they're building him up. But I think that if Seth was to almost pick up a, you know, one of the belts nearer to sort of the rumble, um, I think that would be good. And then if he's got the belt, then that's great. And then it, I think that then works for Cody because obviously Cody Rhodes, there's a lot of unfinished business there with him and Seth. And that's that story writes itself. If Seth's the champion, one of the champs by Mania, Cody comes in, wins the Rumble, challenges Seth at Mania. It's it's a you know definitely something that I think we we could see is Seth versus Cody. You know year two of this, but a much more prepared Seth because he knows he's got he's got Cody. It's not an unannounced surprise. So you know that's something I think we could be looking at. You know the other championship, whether the Universal title goes to SmackDown, um, I think Drew and. Like right now, the obvious choice is Karrion Cross because obviously Karrion is now being talked about as being the number two heel on SmackDown. Now, Karrion Cross came back in with Scarlet Bordeaux this past Friday night on SmackDown, and you know, of course, Triple H had rehired Karrion from him getting released a few months back, and now he's in a very good position on the show. And I definitely would say that you know, Karrion Cross, if the momentum is working for him will have a good role on Mania. Uh, whether he's in a main role or he's on a main event, we will see. Uh, but I definitely feel that Karrion Cross will be in one of the main title matches if they decide to go down that road. Um, I also think that John Cena will be at Mania. They've been teasing him and Austin Theory. Of course, they did that little bit of a promo tease a few weeks back when it was Cena's anniversary show on Raw. Of course, people were discussing that were they going to do Cena and Theory at SummerSlam, but of course they've decided to not. I do think that we will see this match at some point, um, and I feel that Mania would be a good place for this. Of course, Cena, it fits the Hollywood theme, of course, because of course Cena having the roles in Hollywood, like The Rock, 
but have Rock and Cena both on the show against two of WWE's guys, you know, in like a Theory and a Roman. I think that's, uh, that, you know, it's definitely another marquee match that you could definitely place on the show. Um, also talk about, let's say, you've got Ronda Rousey. I think this will be the year, definitely. We're going to see Ronda and Becky Lynch. Um, does it involve Becky winning the Rumble, perhaps? It could be, because I think now Becky's out on an injury. I would say that Becky could definitely take some time off and come back to win the Rumble and then challenge Ronda. But they've got to get a story together for this. Um, because, of course, when the last time that they were going to have these two go at it at Mania, it was, of course, they decided to put Charlotte in the match. And I know a lot of people were not too happy about this. But I think that if they do decide to just keep it as Becky and Ronda, you know, they had a bit of a brief thing earlier this year. And I think there's some unfinished stuff there that could be good. But, of course, Ronda is the heel, Becky is the face. It's, it would be a decent story for Mania next year. I also think Charlotte and Bianca is going to be something. I definitely think Charlotte Flair is going to get a part on the show. But I think to switch it up a little bit, I think that uh, Charlotte and Bianca Belair would be something. And maybe if they're going to do a draft, we may see um, Bianca go to SmackDown. Because I just think that uh, she's been on Raw quite, quite a lot. I just think if they're going to do that, a bit of a reshuffle, I think Bianca will go to SmackDown. And, um, you know, Charlotte may just stay on SmackDown so they can definitely keep a bit of a switch there. But I think that, of course, Charlotte's not been around recently. She took some time off. She got married. Um, she, did she get married to Andrade? So there's definitely some fresh stuff there. Um, do I think Liv Morgan will be champ by Mania? I don't. I think that they're going, they're, they're just doing things at the moment. I think Liv's going to have the belt for a bit, but this is just to establish her as a champ. But, um, you know, it, this can change. Um, Orton, I think, could be potentially coming back. By Mania, I think they're going to do Orton and Riddle. I think that that in itself would be a good little match. But I think to take it, twist it up a little bit, I think you need to make maybe Riddle as the heel. Everybody would expect Randy to be the heel, but I think if they did Orton as the heel, sorry, if they did Riddle as the heel, that would be very interesting and it would be fresh. Um, and there could be something there that they could do. And then the rest of the show, you know, you're looking at the likes of maybe, you know, the Usos against potentially, you know, you've got DIY if Johnny Gargano comes back. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see. It's a long way off, but there's a lot of returns happening. A lot of guys are getting called up, people are coming back. So there's definitely a lot of potential for what this card could look like. Um, you know, Bailey is also a potential. I think Bailey could be put with Bianca and Charlotte if they decide to, you know, reshuffle it up a bit. Then you've got the women's tag team titles. And, you know, by that point, if they decide to keep EO Sky and Dakota Kai as a tag team, we could potentially see them maybe as the champs by then, going up against another team. Um, Edge could have a good match on the show, maybe do Edge against... I can't really think of anybody right now, but if they decide to go with this Dominic Mysterio... I was just thinking of something else, but if they decide to go with this Dominic Mysterio heel turn, then maybe they could do like a father-son thing and Ray, Ray may retire at 39. So you could do Dominic versus Ray. That would be pretty cool. Um, and then there's potential with Logan Paul. I mean, maybe do Lo you could have Logan versus like Logan versus Bobby Lashley. I'm just going to throw it out there as a bit of random, but Logan versus Bobby for one of the mid, you know, for the U.S. title. Let's just say, or any, you know, who, know, who knows? You could be the Intercontinental Champion by then. You just don't know. Um, and that's kind of about it for where we are with this. I mean, this is just an early prediction video, nothing set in stone. This is just me having a bit of a fantasy book, really, with where the show is right now, where, where WWE is right now. So, you know, no one can really call it. It's still very early, but I think that once tickets do go on sale for a show like WrestleMania, it does start to get the road to go. It starts to get things exciting. There's some hype there, and you never know. Anyway, guys that's today's video thank you very much for tuning in if you've got any thoughts about what you would like to see at mania 39 from los angeles california let me know in the comments down below and i'll see you down the road for another one i'm out guys